You've got an update on who's well. <laughs> the best bet for 2016 according to online markets. Yeah, so we'll take a look at the betting markets. I agree with the general consensus that I, I think last night's going to prove to be a wash. And so far, anyway, the markets are kind of unmoved by that. But what you see happening in Iowa, for starters, is that Trump has really moved well ahead, well ahead of the pack. And a lot of that actually, I, I, you know, surprisingly, oddly, whatever, dates back to the Sarah Palin endorsement that he was well behind Cruz until then. Well, well, a bit, bit, and I just can't. And I'm not you, saying that's I, what happened. I can't happened. let you say that because you need to take that line back another week and and draw a big maple leaf right there. Uh, it <laughs> okay, started really put it right over there. there. I agree. Yeah, right there. I agree it with really, you, Joe. I what, agree with you, Joe. You agree with me? Yeah. It, it wasn't I agree Sarah, with you. Yeah, yeah it wasn't Sarah I think Palin. it starts with Canada. Chuck, I got to say, we're going to go back <laughs> to the charts. This Canadian thing. One of the most remarkable things I've seen in no. politics where he throws it out there and he uses the weight of everybody's contempt for Ted Cruz in Washington, D.C. Yeah. to crush the momentum of Cruz's campaign. All right. Well, however no, it happens. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> no, go ahead. Let Ratner go. Oh, good. Okay. However it happened, we are sitting here today with Ted Cruz at 55% uh, probability. This is not a vote share. This is a probability. And Cruz down at 38. And so it's a little bit better than even odds. And what's also interesting to note is that while he's had a few ups and downs in the last few days, it does not appear that the debate boycott per se had any negative effect. Obviously, what happened last night, we'll see in the fullness of, we'll see in the fullness of time. So 